Welcome back to the channel guys, just another video, today we want to talk about spark point and what's going on in the chart, which is not really much at the moment, but uh, we also want to talk about some things that we've talked about before on the roadmap, alright, and why I still think it's a good idea to hold spark point, let's get into it. So we can see that the chart has found you know, some support, it's leveling out, alright, we talked in a previous video about the pattern that I see forming or the fractal. All right, you see a sharp price increase to the upside, it comes down, we get a bit of a bounce, then you get it come back down and it levels out, all right, which it did for about a month. You see the same thing going on here, we see a sharp rise to the upside, and it comes down for a correction, you see it rise with a little bounce, and then it comes back down, and then it levels out, all right guys? So we can see, potentially, that same kind of fractal pattern playing out, as it did over here in June, potentially see that playing out over here in July, August. All right, guys, so hopefully you can see that carry on to the sideways. All right, so maybe we get another announcement, maybe, and we get a, a nice price increase. All right, guys, but there's no guarantee that it will follow that pattern. They say history doesn't repeat itself, but it rhymes. All right, guys, so um, yeah, we'll have to wait and see how that plays out. All right, but one thing I want to talk about is the fact that uh, we've got on Monday, okay, which is 24th of August, as according to the roadmap, all right, it talks about this part, okay, Spark Learn, two new courses and exclusive partnership announcement, all right, so that's one thing that we're waiting out for, this partnership announcement, will that bring a lot more buyers into the market, you know, will we see a price increase based on that, all right, guys, so, that's one of the reasons why we're holding, uh, especially if, you know, we see the long-term potential. We've got the liquidity and staking contracts coming on the 31st. The testnet launch, all right, guys? So that's another thing to hold on for, okay? And you see the, the cryptocurrency wallet Uniswap integration, all right, guys? So, yeah, we've got a new partnership announcement and the testnet and the staking, all right? Not to mention the fact that, um, as you can see, you've got the partnership announcement here as well in Q3 of the roadmap. We also have a new roadmap coming at the end of the month, okay? Uh, sorry, for, for September. All right, guys, because obviously they're doing monthly roadmaps. This obviously ends on the 31st, all right, guys? So we can see that here. Um, if we look, we've got some things that might be coming in Q4, okay? So the revised white paper with DeFi and a third game beta release, buyback and burn program. Another partnership announcement, okay? Team expansion on board Spark Learn Course Creators, okay? So we've got a partnership announcement coming this month, okay? And we've also got a partnership announcement next month. Now, who do those partners will be? We don't know. But um, yeah, please always remember that, you know, Spark Point are doing monthly roadmaps. All right, guys, they seem to have a few things lined up in the pipeline. Um, I remember there was a 2021. 20, 20 to 2020, uh, 2020 to 2021 roadmap as well, and um, you know we know we, you know we're expecting more things to come from Spark Point. All right, guys. So yeah, let's just hold tight, hang tight. Um, I'll put a picture of the 2021 roadmap uh, on the screen as well, so you can see uh, what's coming with that. Um, we've got uh, a second tier exchange listing expected in the first quarter of 2021. So I know we recently just had Stex Exchange and System Coin, all right. But a second tier exchange that will be something like maybe Qcoin, maybe you know we'll have to wait and see, all right. But that's in the first quarter of 2021. There's also the Spark DeFi borrowing and lending, new courses, and the team's going to be growing more as well. Okay, uh, they've also got more buybacks, more burning, you know, stronger DeFi products coming as well. And obviously, they've got the fear support and Spark Point wallet, and then the listing on a first tier exchange at the end of next year, which is on the cards, all right, guys, and a new game. So, a first tier exchange that could be something like Binance or Coinbase, who knows? We'll have to wait and see. But let's just keep that in mind. You know, I do think that Spark Point is a long term hold, 
some people might get, be getting a little bit uh, impatient with Sparkcoin. We've obviously already seen a massive price increase that we've been able to benefit from already, but you can't expect it just to continue up, up, up forever. You've got to see those corrections. Those corrections are healthy for the market, healthy for the long-term potential as well. All right, guys? So, yeah, it's just a quick video about Sparkpoint, a quick update just to remind you why we are holding this or why I'm holding it at least. Had a few messages of people, you know, um, kind of wondering about what next for Sparkpoint or should I sell my Sparkpoint now or whatever. You know, I definitely think that this is a long-term hold. I could be wrong, but uh, I don't think I am. All right, and I'm willing to stake my money on it and um, see how far, you know, see how far I can get, how much profits I can make with that. All right, guys, so yeah, like I said, I am long-term holding Sparkpoint now. You know, it's, it's something that, uh, you know, I'm very confident in doing personally. All right, guys, for the price as well. You know, this is probably one of the best projects that you're going to get at this price at the moment. Okay. Um, if you look at the current market cap, it is still a very low market cap coin. Okay. Coming in at only an $8 million 